Hello everyone, this is Sangam Mukherjee. Welcome to the course of Karokan Defense. In this lecture, I am going to discuss the classical variation of Karokan Defense, the main line with bishop to d3. So the Karokan Defense is start with the move e4 and after black played c6, we have d4, d5, knight to c3, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4 and bishop to f5. This is the main line that I already discussed in my previous lecture. Now we have knight to g3, bishop to g6, h4, h6, knight f3, knight f6, knight to e5, attacking the bishop, bishop to a7 and now bishop to d3, this is the main line. In my previous lecture, I discussed the bishop to c4 line, but that line was not so devastating as it made out to be. Actually, in many games, white was destroyed by the black's bishop on a7. That's why the idea of bishop to d3 is come into picture. The idea is very simple to exchange of that nasty bishop on a7. So after bishop to d3, black played bishop takes bishop on d3, this is the main line. But there are also some alternative moves. Instead of capture the bishop on d3, if in this position queen takes pawn on d4, then it is a pure blunder for black. Because in this position white can play knight takes pawn on f7. Now here, if king takes knight on f7, then simply bishop to g6 check winning the black queen. If instead of taking the knight, after knight takes pawn on f7, if in this position bishop takes bishop on d3, then we have knight takes rook on h8 and after queen to e5 check, bishop to e3 and bishop to h7. You may think that the knight is trapped on the h8, but in this position white has a brilliant way to save the life of knight and that is queen to d8 check, sacrificing the queen temporarily. And after king takes queen on d8, simply knight to f7. You can see that this is a knight fort. This is check and this is also forking the queen. So after king moves, simply knight takes queen on e5. And second alternative is after bishop to d3, black can play knight from b to d7. Then we have probably this continuation. Bishop takes on h7, knight takes on e5, d takes on e5, queen to a5 check, king to f1 and knight takes on a7. White lost his castling right, while black has managed to transfer it king knight to a7. Still in this position white can slightly better after queen to e2, castling queen side, e6, queen to d5, e takes on f7, queen takes on f7 and bishop to e3. This continuation was played between Leko and Verev in Dortmund 2000. Now back to the main continuation. So after bishop takes on d3, queen takes on d3, e6 and bishop to d2. This is an important moment. As I discussed, black is allowed white to play knight to e5 because he plans to either exchange this knight off or to undermine the central square. That's why in this position, white need to additional support to knight on e5 to maintain the position in the center. There are basically two ways to do this. In this position, white can play f4 and also white can in this position play bishop to f4. So after bishop to d2, black played knight from b to d7 and white goes for the important f4 move. Now in this position, black played bishop to e7 and this is the best move. Now bishop to d6 is a less reliable way to develop the bishop as in this position, black no longer has the possibility to play knight takes knight on e5. And in this position, instead of playing bishop to e7, if in this position black played c5, this also a bad move in this position because after c5 is played in this position, white simply castle on the queen side and after c takes on d4, knight to g5, f takes on g6, queen takes on g6 check, king to e7 and bishop to b4 check and in this position you can see that white is much better than black. That's why after f4, best is to play bishop to e7. And after bishop to e7, the best move for white will be simply to castle on the queen side. And after black castle king side, queen to f3. Now you can see that position is about equal for both white and black. And the strong and well supported knight on e5 give white a pleasant game. Now what is the statistic of this variation? With this bishop to d3 move, white scored 55% from 150 games. But there are not really enough games in this new variation. So this is all for this video. In this video, I discuss the classical variation of Karokan defense, the main line with bishop to d3. In my next lecture, I discuss some great chess game based on the same variation. So see you in my next video. Thank you.